Hey y'all, Mama Smart here. It is day eight, Disney day eight. It is travel day, checkout day. We're going hop on the Skyliner real quick to have breakfast at Topolino's Terrace. And hubby's dropping off bags at Bell Services. Mirrors will pick us up at 3.30. It is 10 o'clock right now. Topolino's reservation's at 10.45, so we need to kind of book it over there. <laughs> so that's where we're headed, letting them play with the potato head statues one more time. All right, it's gonna be kind of a short day. Mostly it's just gonna be breakfast and then us getting on the airplane, but follow along. So miscommunication, hubby thought I said meet him at Caribbean Beach, like that we were just gonna go ahead and get on the Skyliner and we were sitting down waiting for him near the Skyliner and he texted me, he's like, hey, I'm on the Skyliner already. So we're trying to go catch up to him now and meet him and then we'll probably just walk from Caribbean Beach up to Topolino's because it's sometimes quicker than getting on the Skyliner and getting off at Riviera. So that's where we're headed now. So we're in this weird little like <laughs> nook room, kind of off to the side. You can see the doors there. I wonder if they probably use this for like private events, I'm assuming. Got their kids, coloring sheet. This is what I always go for. What is it? What is it? A chocolate chip. Chocolate chip? <laughs> You're right, baby. Look how cute that is. You want to try a bite of that one? Is it crispy? <laughs> There's Mickey! You see Mickey Mouse, Mama? <laughs> Try some of that butter. It's like tart and salty, it's good. I wanna try some of that butter. Okay. This is the white right with the butter on it. It's so good. Oh my god. Here baby. Here. Try the crumble with the butter. Apple crumble. 
fell out before she finally made it. <laughs> Take a picture, Bubba. I got it. <laughs> oh, awesome. Thank you, Minnie. <laughs> Thank you, Minnie Mouse. Oh. <laughs> All right, please come sit. Good job. You did give her a hug. It's Daisy Duck. Can you get the purple one? It's. <laughs> she likes your bowies. You got a bow like her. <laughs> She likes your dress, Weez. You got a dress like Daisy? I bet Daisy's dress twirls good like yours, huh? <laughs> Can we get your autograph, Daisy? Thank you, Daisy. Can we get a picture? Bubba, do you want a picture with Daisy Duck? <laughs> Ooh. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh man. He's already digging in. What you think, Bubba? Is that good? You got your dips you can dip it in? So I couldn't decide on which one. Eat it. Don't dip it in mine. You eat it. Uh oh, here's Donald. Hey, here's Donald. You see him? <laughs> Don't dip it in my plate, please. <laughs> Put your waffle down, Bubba. <laughs> There's Donald. <laughs> That's 
right, <laughs> Mic drop. <laughs> Here comes Mickey. <laughs> it's Mickey Mouse. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not mamas. <laughs> oh yeah, can we get your autograph, Mickey? Yeah. <laughs> All his friends. <laughs> Awesome. Thank you, Mickey. And give him a high five. High five. Haha. -ha. Thanks, Mickey. <laughs> oh, it gives me a blow kiss. Yeah. Is that good, buddy? Okay, so he got the he got the salmon with a side of avocado toast. I need and I couldn't decide, so she said you can get an entree and then basically get another entree as like a side, which I want it for my waffle, but I couldn't decide between the avocado toast and the steak, so she was like, I'm not going to make you choose, I'm just going to bring them both, so I get all this to try. Alright, let's see. I do not have a steak for so hopefully, or steak knife, hopefully this, I'm sure he's going to eat some of my steak. I'm gonna get man cup some of my steak. He likes steak. Thank you. He said the salmon was really good. The bagels was kind of meh, but he said the salmon's really good. Everything 
on my plate is absolutely phenomenal. Still haven't tried my waffle yet. That's the cross section of steak for him because that little boy loves some steakums. She's actually not eating very well. She's just playing and she's usually my big eater. You gonna try one of the potatoes? Here, take a bite. It's like a french fry. Take a bite. I'll try her potato for science. That's very good. He said he's thoroughly full. Out of trouble breathing. <laughs> I'm still going. I've been busy getting videos and pictures. Is that good? Is that like a honey dip? Gotta get a bit of that tear in there too. Careful with this. You can take it off the stick and get the Take it off the stick and get the No dip it. Y'all, this little boy is the pickiest eater on the planet, and second trip in a row, this is the food that he eats the most. Like, he has torn this up. He's already eaten a giant piece and a half of my steak all the bacon, most of the sausage, a whole waffle, and he's on the second one. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Yo, these sour cream waffles, see if they live up to what I remember. Another bite. So good. Everything A plus. Yeah, Bubba, we can go down there and play. Yeah. We are on the roof. So gorgeous up here. It's very bright though, and I don't have my sunglasses. We are on the roof, huh? Look at that thing. Oh wow. That's cooler than water slides. I didn't know. Yeah. Staying here is definitely like top of my bucket list. Breakfast, you made four. it just remains true Go. to me that this is the best breakfast you can get Good on job. site for sure. Place like I said, it's the only one that Man Cub actually okay, like destroys and he doesn't eat much at all. He's a very picky eater. I am very full. Hubby said he's a second away from throwing up. <laughs> he's so full. Um, best recommendation to getting a reservation here because it is the Pick hardest to reservation guys. to get is book it towards on the last day of your trip. So we had a seven day, eight night trip, something like that. Was it eight nights, seven nights? I don't know. Friday, we were here Friday. for about a week. So I booked it for the very last okay, day of our trip. 
um, for breakfast and that's how I got the reservation. It was no problem doing that. If you have a shorter stay, you're gonna run into to issues. You might just have to do like a late brunch or lunch. Otherwise, try joining the walk-up list. Uh, try joining one of the like dining notification sites that alert you whenever someone cancels a reservation. But I definitely recommend trying to get one here. It is by far the best meal on property. All right, so change of plans or plans. Hubby strolled the kids over to Caribbean Beach because we stayed there last year, so he kind of knows the layout there. There's a lot of stuff for the kids to kind of run around and do, so he's gonna take them to burn some energy and just kind of let them run around because we're gonna be at the airport for like a very long time just sitting still and then on a plane. So I'm headed to Boardwalk Beach Club area. I'm still on the hunt for an ornament. It doesn't look like I'm gonna find it this trip, but I wanted to check those gift shops. Just on the off chance they might have something. Maybe see the chocolate horse carousel at Beach Club, and then I'll head back to meet them before we have to meet the Mirrors Connect at 3.30. Let's see, 12.45 right now, so we have a little bit less than three hours, which means I've got about an hour just to play it safe. So taking the stroll, hopped off the Skyliner at Epcot International Gateway, and instead of turning left into Epcot, I headed right to the boardwalk area. Striked out there too, continuing my trek around the boardwalk. So, I'm, because I'm pretty much halfway around anyway, Skyliner Station. I guess it's that way, so I guess I'm not halfway around, but yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and call it quits. <laughs> it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. I have a friend coming in May, I'll have her look for it, see if she can find it for me. Maybe it won't be so out of stock around Christmas season, but heading back to the Skyliner to meet. Hubby and the kids, they've been playing. I'll insert some pictures here for you at Caribbean Beach. So I'm gonna meet up with them and we're just gonna hang out and let the kids burn energy until the bus picks us up. Just wanna say in regards to wardrobe choices, even skinny girls fall victim to the chub rub or chafing. Just ran into in the bathroom a second girl complaining about her thighs like chafed to bleeding and she was a stick. When we were leaving Animal Kingdom the other day past a girl, very skinny girl, either late teens, early 20s, and short, cut off jean shorts, and she yelled out, my thighs are bleeding! <laughs> because she was in so much pain from chafing. So, even if you're not a bigger girl and you have thick thighs like me, still fall victim to it. So, dress accordingly, dress comfortably. You do not want to be in a lot of pain from like your thighs bleeding. So, pack body glide, pack longer shorts. That's my PSA. There they are. Did y'all have fun with Dada? Dada. Mama needs some of that water. Uh, this is all back spit. Awesome. I've got some, yeah, I've got some in there that's
kid situated with surprise toys. Like I said, always bring some kind of little toy to occupy that's not a tablet. Saving the tablets for the actual airplane because that's easier on the airplane. So I'm headed to go find something for us to eat. They had an on the border, on the border up here. So I'm gonna go check out and see what they have. If not, Burger King might be the option, which is not my favorite, but go see what they have. Alright guys, <laughs> that's it for our last day, our travel day. Made it home to New Orleans, you see the French Quarter sign behind me. Now we've got a little drive ahead of us to get home to the Puppet Dogs. Alright, so thank you guys for following all of our Disney adventures. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Bye guys.